you invited 500 kids to your next party, would you serve six foot peanut butter and marshmallow party subs, a deep dish pizza big enough for a satellite dish, or the incredible 50 foot corn dog? Watch the show that lets kids pick their own giant party food? Out of here, your place at Nick's Studios in Orlando, Florida, where the kids make the calls. Now, here's Tiffany, Bruce, Karen, and Mike. I don't know about you guys, but I'd go for the pizza because of the turtles, man. I just gotta go for the pizza. I, I'd have to go for the pizza, too, just because I make a really good pizza. I, I make an awesome pizza. I'm gonna have to go with you guys and go with the pizza. Not because I like pizza, but I need a satellite dish. So, what did, what did the kids vote on? I bet they wanted the pizza. Did the kids I want the pizza? The oh, yeah, they, they wanted the pizza. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Thank you very much. <laughs> you know, maybe they didn't want it, the satellite dish so they can get all the fucking air games. Oh, That's be quiet. Yeah. Who's going out to yeah. catch today? Um, uh, Actually, no, I am. You are. I'm right. going out, and I've, I'm going to be uh, doing some exercises, warming up, and uh, trying to get rid of my tripping habit there. Yeah. I don't Just know. go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna Take care. Captain it up. You guys. The green team. All right, nice. <laughs> and I'm going to be the captain of the awesome purple team. Yeah! <laughs> Well, all right. I'm going to be host of today's show, but I want to find out who's doing the Nick or Treat call today. You are. Hey, so you might want to stick around. So that Nick or Treat call is going to be happening later on in the show. But right now, let's get started with our first game. Okay, guys, hold up your buckets. You see, every member on each team has a bucket. And when I give the signal, the top row is going to dump their bucket into the row below them. And they're going to dump that bucket into the row below them. And they're going to work that stuff all the way down to the bottom row. Now, once it gets down here, they're going to work that stuff that's in their bucket all the way over here. What's in the bucket? You'll find out later on. But once everything gets into this big bucket, the captain's going to take that and they're going to, let's say, present it to the other team. So, guys, when get ready, get set, and go! They're dumping their buckets. Ooh, the green team's down to the front row already. Oh, the purple team's in the front row, too. They're filling their buckets. They're going to the big buckets. Hey, it looks like confetti to me. Is it all in there? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my. Go for it, Karen. <laughs> all right. I do it <laughs> Karen, you just couldn't resist, could you? I couldn't resist. <laughs> I don't think I could resist either. But, hey, guys, how do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks like fun. So I think Mike enjoyed that. Did you enjoy that, Mike? Uh, yeah, until my team was slaughtered. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. Well, you know, I think Bruce was trying to make some new friends, so let's find out how he's doing. Hey, Tiffany, heard you had a party last weekend. Gee, wish I had been invited. Actually, people I've talked to said you even sang at this party. <laughs> heard you had quite an unusual uh, style. Gosh, Tiff, I'm really sorry I missed that party. Maybe next time I'll get an invitation. <laughs> I'll even bring the refreshments. Ah, ah. Oh, Bruce, you're such a geek. Anyways, now, what's a good way to look like your favorite metal star? That's easy. Get a tattoo. No, not a real one, of course. Now, you might have noticed this lovely tattoo I have on my arm here. This is a temporary movie tattoo, and it is safe and easy to apply. And we've got some kids here who have some of these fun tattoos on as well. So let's go on down and meet her. Hi. Hello, my name is Jessica, and I have my great balloons. <laughs> oh, they're great. Do you, do you like this tattoo? Yes, but I never wear it in public. Um, even though it's a, you know, a temporary tattoo, you wouldn't like to wear this out? No, maybe at a slumber party, tease my friends and everything. Oh, so you'd play a trick on them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like that would be fun. Now, let's get your name. Hi, my name's Beck, and I have a teddy bear. How do you like your teddy bear? It's cute, but I probably wouldn't get a real one because they hurt and everything, but these, they don't hurt or anything. So it was like really easy and they just... Yeah, you just painted it on. All right, and your name, buddy? 
Eric, and this is a son. Hey, we both got sons. How about that? All right. Now, um, tell me, what do you think of real tattoos? I, I really want to get them. I think it would hurt, and I just really don't like them. Yeah, so they're, they're sort of stupid to you then? Yeah. yeah. But what do you think of your son? It's cool. I wouldn't wear it out in public, but... <laughs> Everyone's just sort of keeping it in the closet, I guess. All right, down here? Hi, my name is JD, and I have Tweety Bird. Tweety Bird, eh. Yeah. <laughs> do you like your Tweety Bird? Yeah, it's pretty cool. What do you think of, like, this tattoo that's fun compared to real tattoos? Um, I guess this would be good for a joke and everything, but I would never get a real tattoo. Like, would you want to want to fake your parents out at all? Yeah. Oh, mean kids. Yeah, they're all nodding their heads. So. Well, let's go on over and meet our art director who knows how to apply these, David Ellis. Hi, David. Hello. Hello. Hi there. Well, David's going to show us how he applies these movie tattoos, and we've got a volunteer here. Let's get her name. Sarah. Hi, Sarah. So let's um, talk about this while you do it, right. I guess. What we're going to do is very simple, a, a spider tattoo. And we just take some plain rubbing alcohol, put it on a cotton ball. We wet the area first. These are alcohol-based tattoos. They, that's what makes them not wash off. We apply it, dab it on. Dry it off a little bit. Blow it till it's dry. How about There's that? There's the imprint. Then we can, you can either let these go by themselves or you can add just a little bit of accent for color so right now he's painting in the red just like that just see like no so. pain and mm, it tastes good too <laughs> now and then you just bring it off like so and you apply it with a little bit of talcum powder so that takes the paint off the surface of the skin and there you go it's good for about three to four days how about that <laughs> all right now um these won't wash off, will they? They will not wash off. These are for film and television. And as you can see, there's a couple a little bit more uh, intricate patterns. And you can get them. You wow. can even design your own. And they'll literally put them on a computer and print them out for you. So you can, you can lay them straight out or you can put a little color with them. But they last anywhere from oh, three to four days, depending upon your skin texture, the dryness, and how much soap you use in the wash. Well, that's great. Well, I'd like to thank you and thank everyone for coming out. All right. It's right for me to sit in my face, but I don't think you can. Right? He's stylish and sophisticated. You think it's more Sears or GQ? A serious leader. <laughs> From Orc, an extraterrestrial man of the 90s. Since there seem to be no decent ones on Earth, catch him Sundays at 8.30 on... Man your battle stations. Man your battle stations. It's electronic talking battleship from Milton Bradley. So real, it really talks. Battleship arm. Battleship arm. We're talking instant programming. Three skill levels and only Milton Bradley's got them. Carrier hit Against the computer or opponent, your mission, sink the enemy's fleet. Battleship sunk. Battleship sunk. Yeah, now you're talking. The electronic talking battleship and original battleship. Only from Milton Bradley. I'm hanging out with my great purple team over here. I met some friends. What's your name? Aaron. Hi, Aaron. And this is your sister over here, right? What's your name? Leanne. Hi, Leanne. Have you guys ever done anything really, really strange to get on television? Yeah, I tried to jump in front of the camera and make a weird noise so the camera would point on me, not the other person. Did it work? No. Didn't work. What's it? Did you help them out? No, I got on TV instead. You made the weird noise and you got on TV? Yep. <laughs> People will do anything to get on television. <laughs> we interrupt this program to bring you the following special announcement. Be on the lookout for the following notorious criminals. The men and women of out of here's most wanted. This man, Jack the Tripper, is wanted in connection with a series of bad falls at a local skating rink. He once stuck out his leg for this woman, Belle Star Search, who hopes to become the first convicted forger to win model spokesperson honors. Right back. <laughs> Belle may be seen in the company of this man, MC John Chillinger. My name is John. I'm hip. I'm clean. Messing a struggling me. entertainer with a rap sheet as long as your arm. He was squealed on by this woman, Dizzy Borden, a near-headed blonde with one tiny bad habit, printing counterfeit monopoly money. Dizzy was once partners with this guy, John Wilkes Phone Booth, who's wanted in several states for making long-distance prank calls. Collect. Booth began his life of crime with this woman, Watsamata Hari, a beautician who likes to use customers' home shopping club cards while their mud packs harden. She also belongs to a gang led by this man, 
Billy the Kidder, a notorious pickpocket who distracts his victims with bad puns and old jokes. So the guy with the zebra Next to Billy, the most desperate criminal in the whole bunch is this woman, Fried Calamity James, a bank robber who used to make the best fish and chips in the state. State prison, that is. If you happen to spot one of these desperados, take no action yourself, but do contact local authorities. And remember, be careful out there. They are out of here's most wanted. Well, our next guest was a champion, a finalist actually, in the 1990 World Junior Frisbee Ch Championships. I got through it, I can't believe it. Um, it's Sandy Clark, he's here today from Orlando, Florida. Please help me welcome him. When we're done, satisfaction of what's to come. Sandy, welcome. Thank you. Come on over. This is Bob Lewis. Right. Thank you very much for helping out. Sandy, how did you start out doing this? I'm um, just throwing pie tins, um, little butter cup lids, container lids. Mm -hmm. and um, you're, you're a finalist, so yeah. I guess how many kids actually, you know, partake, partake in this contest? About 700, 800,000 kids so across you, the United you, States. So you came in like what, second? Second. In 700,000 kids. Yes. That's pretty good. How do you train to get into this? Um, I just go out and fool around, get my little brother. Um, I just have a good time doing it. You look like you enjoy it. it. Yeah. You've been doing it for a long time? Oh, six, seven years. Six or seven years. So how, how old were you when you started out? Oh, about six. Um, six years old? Five, six years so old. So kids start out pretty young when they start. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> pretty good. What do you do to train? Um, I just, you know, mess around. Yeah. Do you like do any stretches or warm yeah, up? Yeah, I'll warm up, stretch your muscles, run mm -hmm. a lot. I noticed that you guys have like acrylic nails yeah. and stuff on. Really, what are they for? Um, they're for nail delaying, really, what I've been doing. Mm -hmm. I usually spin the Frisbee and it reduces friction. Do, the, do these hurt? Um, when you pull them off and they jerk mm -hmm. off, yes, they do. Probably hurt also if you pick your nose or something, but <laughs> <laughs> But also, um, aside from, so they're used to actually do tricks on. They help yeah, out? Yeah, a lot. Okay. And um, how about as far as a bob? I mean, I guess you always need a thrower to do tricks? Yeah, it helps a lot. Yeah. Is there a particular trick that you've originated that you'd like to be named after you or anything? No, uh, not really. Yeah. Well, um, how about how about the pie tins, eh, guys? I've heard that you guys. Whoa! <laughs> I heard that p pie tins are how yeah. this started out, right? How frisbee started, yes. Frisbee. Okay, so tell me how it started. How to do that? Um, my name frisbee. Mhm. Mm That's his name, and he had big pies. Right. So, and his he had a son, and. His son would just go out in the field and throw them. And that's how it started out? Yeah. That's how the game originated. Yeah, Can you do any tricks with this? Just throw them. I heard um, you were really good at doing this stuff, so let's see. Let me hold this for you? Yeah. Um, okay. I catch between your legs. That's pretty good. <laughs> behind your back. Behind. Ooh, almost. That's pretty good. Guys, isn't that excellent? Really good. Well, thanks so much for coming, Sandy. Okay, I really appreciate it. Bob, thank you for helping out. Everyone, help me thank Sandy Clark. Yeah, thank you. Very good. Very good. You did an excellent job. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Bruce, I'm supposed to throw to you. What's up? I never know what to order when I go to a restaurant. Should I get the chicken or the fish? Should I, should I order a soda or a water? Should I pay the check or sneak out the back door and let my date pay for it? So many questions and so few answers. Like, what the heck is this guy eating? Let me ask him a few questions. Um, what you're eating in your mouth right now, does it taste good? Mmm, mmm, okay. Is it animal? So it tastes good. Is it animal, vegetable, or mineral? Mmm, mmm, mmm. Animal? Mmm, mmm. It's animal. Okay. How often do you eat this food? Mmm, 
Mm. 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 Once a day, mm. once a week. Mm. Once a week. Okay. Would you eat this for breakfast? Mm. No. Okay. No. Is it low in calories? Mm. No. Is it spicy or is it mild? Mm. Mm. Thumbs up for spicy, thumbs down for mild. Mm. It's mild. Okay. Is it sweet or sour? Sweet or sour? Mm. Mm. It's neither? Mm. Then do this for neither. Mm. Okay. And uh, finally, is it head cheese? Mm? Is it head cheese? Mm -hmm. mm? No, it's not head cheese. <laughs> okay. Well, you guys at the studio can decide what it is, so let's go to you for the vote. Thanks a lot, Bruce. Now, we get to, s to decide what we think he was eating. So, it's one of three things. Was he eating an omelet? Was he eating a cheeseburger? Or was he eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Okay, guys, you decide. Hmm. All right, well, it looks like the votes are in, and they both decided they thought it was a cheeseburger. Let's go see what it really was. So why don't you tell us what you were eating? It was a cheeseburger. Trust me, it was a cheeseburger. He gave me a peek before he swallowed. Not a pretty sight. You don't mind if I have a... No. What's up? Well, all right, both teams were correct, so give yourselves a hand. <laughs> You know, my, my watch seems to have stopped. Excuse me. You know what time it is? It's time to jam. All right, let's do it. Nickelodeon is now harboring a fugitive bear, Yogi Bear, on the run from the law just because he had to snack. Wanted Yogi Bear. Weekdays at 4.30, 3.30 Central, only on Nickelodeon. It's the new kids on the block. Joseph, Jonathan, Jordan, Donnie, and Danny. Who's their number one fan? I'm the number one fan. I've got all five concert kids with all five personal interview cassettes. I am. I've got all five concert kids with their cassettes and the new kids' stage. Plus all five kids in their street clothes. I'm the number one fan. I've got all the kids, their stage, and the new kids in the block phone. The new kids on the block. Who's their number one fan? I am. New kids on the block concert kids come with cassettes, stage, hanging loose kids, and accessories sold separately. <laughs> I'm a mathematical maniac, and when I'm pounding out problems, I smack bubbly and bubblegum. There are no three flavor pack with wild cherry, grape, and regular. Equals three flavors, five pieces, one place. It's good for division, splitting among friends. And it's perfect for popping. With a three flavor pack, it's a fact. I'll never fucking taste. Now, geography, that's a different subject. Bubblegum keeps it popping. Mike here in the Green Bleachers, and I want to know, what are you guys doing this Halloween? Getting lots of candy. Going to the mall. Just hanging around. Really? Has anyone entered the Nick or Treat contest? Yeah. Well, right now, Karen's about to call a potential winner, so Karen, go for it. Hello, Mrs. Newsbomb. Yeah, this is Vinny from Loose Pizzarama. Where are you? I have been driving for a half an hour. What? What? I hope you've been answering your phone by saying Nick a Treat, because you can't win our Nick a Treat contest unless you do, okay? Let's make two calls. Look, lady, I've been to 424 Elm Street. Ain't nobody home. Excuse me, sir, could we use the phone? 242? You said 424. Look, you're darn <laughs> right it's getting cold. Yeah, yeah, I'll be right there. I should have finished med school. Let's make our two calls. <laughs> Our first caller is Robin Squire. She's age 13. Let's see if she's going to answer the phone. Nick or treat. Hi, Robin. Yeah. You just won. Really? Isn't that excellent? Okay, well, listen, stay tuned, okay? 
Yep. Bye. Okay, bye. Okay, let's see. Mindy Nelson Hurst is our next caller. Let's call her right now. Wish her luck. Hi, Mindy. Yes. Hi, this is Karen from Addy here. You just won. Great. <laughs> Are you happy? Uh-huh. Great. Well, stay tuned, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye. They were so happy. Well, listen, stay tuned because you might be the next person that we call, all right? Remember to say Nick or treat. Well, I think right now we're going out to Bruce in the park. Hey, Bruce, what's up? Oh, yeah. I loved workout. There's nothing better than staying fit keeping healthy. If you want to look like a real bodybuilder nowadays, weightlifting is only half the battle. machine. <laughs> hey Bruce. Now, I have to remind you, just a little while ago, we had two winners in our Nick or Treat contest, so stay by the phone and make sure you answer Nick or Treat, because we're going to be making a lot of phone calls. Well, now it's time for some bleacher bowling. Now, I have to tell you the score. Green two, purple one, so the purple might be able to tie it up. So, back to bleacher bowling. Now, when I give the signal, the captains are going to drop their bowling balls into the gutter that runs through each bleacher. They're going to have to maneuver their gutter up and down and work their bowling balls down to the bottom. Now, once the balls get down here, they're going to have to try to aim these shoots right here to go right down the ramp, and they want to knock over as many of these pins as possible. Now, we want to find over who could knock them over first. So, good luck to both of you. On your marks. Get set and go! And they're off. Good job, good job. They're maneuvering their gutter. I see them rounding the curves on both teams. And they're sending off their second bowling ball. Ooh, gently and safely rounding the curves. Good job! Pick it up, pick it up, good job! Okay. The balls are moving their way down. Here they come. Whoa! Okay, we've got one in the first row on the purple team. Let's find out what happens. The front row on the green team. Oh, major gutter. Oh, one on that team. Oh, two, three pins on the green side. Here comes the second ball on the purple. Oh, she aimed it. So close. Oh, we're counting up the pins. We're counting them up. Okay. We have more pins knocked down on the green, so the judges say it goes to green. I think those guys got lucky. Nice try, though, Karen. You guys did a great job. That was wild. You boys got lucky, Mike. That was luck. Your luck. Hey, Tiffany. Nice tattoo. Hey, I'm a stud now. But you can take it off. That's cool, though. Yeah, you can take it off. It's going to come right off tonight. How are we down the park today, Bruce? Pretty excellent. Bruce, you weakling? Yeah, oh, you're real funny. You're real funny. So Hold on. Wait a second. I want to check some out. Anybody got any muscle poses they could do oh, for me real quick? I'm just checking out muscle poses. He's Stand up and do me a muscle pose right now. Whoa. What's your name? Robbie. You, you work out a lot, Robbie? Yeah. You look nice and pumped up, pal. Hold nice on. I'd like you. to give thanks to our excellent bowler over here. How What's your name? Trapper. Did that bowling. Guys, give him a hand. That was great. <laughs> hey, we would like to pump. You up. Oh, <laughs> yes. now that's original. <laughs> I think we should do like a group pose maybe here. Okay, ready? Mm. Thinking, ready? Go. One, two, three. Oh. All right. <laughs> it works for me. Oh, okay. you guys. We gotta go. I know, it's like hey. picture perfect. We gotta go, but we're out of here. We're out of here. <laughs> <laughs> See you later.
Some members of our audience will receive Smash Ball Beach and Lawn Racket Games, the perfect combination of fun and exercise. Special design hollow core rackets give players maximum speed and control. Play over anywhere. Smash Ball is fun for all ages. Promotional consideration.